Poincaré metric has the property that it is invariant under the automorphism group, namely the fractional linear transformations are isometries, and all holomorphic maps by the Schwartz-Pick theorem are distance decreasing with respect to the distance function associated to the Poincaré metric. And it's natural to ask whether there is only one such distance function that has this property. And it turns out that there are actually a large number of such structures, namely the Carathiodori pseudo distance function, which we can define on any subdomain of Euclidean space, is given by the supremum of the distance function associated with the Poincare metric of the image of those two points under a holomorphic map. So what we do is we, we take two points in our domain, we map them via a holomorphic map into the disk, and then we compute the Poincaré distance in the image, and then we take the supremum of this quantity over all such holomorphic maps. Now, this is going to be invariant. You can, you can, uh, it's known that this is invariant under the automorphism group of omega, and moreover is distance decreasing, of course, with respect to holomorphic maps. Now, it's a pseudo-distance function instead of a honest, an honest distance function because it can be degenerate. It can, if, you, if omega was allowed to be compact, for instance, then all holomorphic functions would be constant, and therefore it would just annihilate everything. The distance between any two points would be zero. But this is an instance of what's referred to as an intrinsic pseudo-distance. Now, of course, one would like this on all complex manifolds, and, and one can do this. In fact, the most natural candidate is something called the Kobayashi pseudo-distance, which essentially what we do is we take any sequence of points which uh, converge to the corresponding points we consider here. So I have a sequence of points concerning uh, converging to a, maybe a point Z and another point W in disk. What we then do is map these in a corresponding way. So we have this chain of holomorphic maps, and then we compute the, the sum of the Poincaré distances between each of these points in the sequence, and then take the infimum of that over all, over all such chains of holomorphic maps. The, the definition is unfortunately convoluted. And so I figured that a, a diagram is more than sufficient to at least discuss the idea.